gonna attempt to redo the tutorial that I did yesterday. It didn't work out because my cameras all went kind of wrong. Um, so this is the look, or as close as I could get it to the one that I did last night. It's really, really simple. It's like two colours and an eyeliner, and it's really, really quick. But yeah, really dramatic. I'm using this, which is the Urban Decay Sustainable Palette. I'm gonna be using Oil Slick and Grifter. I believe there are some other palettes that those two colours are in as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Um, although it is a pretty good deal because there's so many different colours in and there's so many different looks so I'm probably going to be doing some kind of giveaway or something centred around these kind of colours or this palette um, at the beginning of next month for my birthday so I'm going to be doing a lot of looks with this palette over the coming days, five weeks so be prepared for that and start kicking off at me for using Urban Decay products because I really really like them um, so yeah, I'm going to be using Oil Slick and Grifter I'm using this tiny little brush from um, QVS because I find that the darker the colours, the smaller the brush is a really, really good rule of thumb. And what I have done is I'm using this e.l.f. HD powder, which is all loose powder, and I'm taking a little brush, um, it's, I suppose it's supposed to be for your eyes, but I only ever use it for face products underneath the eye, and I'm putting loose powder all underneath my eye to stop, to minimise glitter fallout, and because I'm using a lot of black, that too. So just kind of like a layer of loose powder. You're always going to have some kind of fallout, but this really, really helps. Like, it's unreal. I'm just going to pack that on. The more you can get on there, the better. So hopefully that will be enough. Now, first of all, I'm going to bear in mind that I've primed my eyes already. I have put the little Urban Decay Primer Potion on. And I'm going to just fill in my entire lid with the black, which is the oil slick. It is quite a glittery shade of black but it's going to be really glittery by the time we're finished. Let me see if you can zoom in and it doesn't go too yellow. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring it out a little bit, square it off. And, there. and this is really, there's nothing precise about this look at all. You just kind of go for it and see what happens. Okay, next I'm going to use um, Grifter. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Just a little across. And then I'm going to start covering the black up with that shadow. It really lightens up the black and like totally packed on more glitter. And then when you get to the line, you want to blend it. pretty much it for the shadow. It looks like you've made so much more effort than you really have and it's so dramatic. Okay, so next I'm just going to blend it a little bit with a bigger shadow brush. I'm using this one from Sigma and it is the E55 eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put on my eyeliner before I get rid of the um, powder below. You want it quite dark, quite gothic kind of look. Again, you don't need to be neat. You know I can't be neat with my eyeliner on top because I can't close one eye. So I just see what happens. I'm going to use this little um, smudge brush from e.l.f. Smudge it right across and I'm actually going to take the oil slick on the smudge, pro, the smudge brush and go over so you've got kind of like a glittery eyeliner. I've actually got the eyeliner in oil slip, but it's not quite glittery enough. And then the grifter from the inner corner, blending in with the oil slick over the top of the eyeliner. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of all that fallout. And for the most part, 
it will just rub off. Okay, the mascara that I used was this, which is Extreme from Collection 2000. pretty much the look that I had in the video that I uploaded. Um, my 17 questions that people asked me, uh, people said that they liked my makeup in the video. I had already done a tutorial however, I uh, I don't know what happened with my camera but I've got new batteries in it now and it's working a lot better it would seem so yeah. That's the look, let me know what you think, thanks for watching and if you have any questions please let me know, if you haven't already please subscribe.